Congratulations again on completing the exercise. You now hopefully understand how to write programs to calculate all the summary statistics that we might be interested in when you have a sample of uniform random variables. In, our, in particular, you should now be able to write a code something like the one shown here. This code generates a list containing n uniform random variables. It then computes the sample mean, the median, the 5th and 95th percentiles, and the sample variance for this sample of random variables. In addition to being able to calculate these summary statistics for a uniform random variable, you have now also learned how to generate random variables from the uniform, Bernoulli, binomial, and geometric distributions. The natural question to ask in this final exercise is therefore, can we calculate summary statistics for samples of these various different types of random variables? In other words, can we generate a sample of Bernoulli or binomial or geometric random variables and then compute the sample mean, the medium, some percentiles and a sample variance? The answer to this question is obviously less, yes. Furthermore, you have hopefully realized that doing these tasks is simply a matter of using the code from the previous slide that is shown again here and changing the one line here so that the appropriate type of random variable is generated. Now, one can do this by simply copying and pasting the code that you learned in a previous level of this exercise can be used to generate the type of random variable that you were interested in at this part of the code. This is not a particularly neat way of writing code, however. So I would like in this last video an exercise to show you how we can do this in a way that is more aesthetically pleasing. To simplify matters, let's focus on calculating the sample mean only. Notice how in this new code I have replaced my usual call to the function np.random.uniform with a call to a function called uniform. This uniform function is not part of NumPy or Python, and I'm thus going to have to write it myself. To do so, I would write a function something like this. The function uniform thus calls our old friend np.random.uniform and thus generates our uniform random variable. The way that this function call operates within the code shown at the bottom of the slide is as follows. When the code is executed, the process of execution starts here, with the setting of the variable n equal to 21. Then, as the code goes through the loop, every time that we arrive at the call to the function uniform, we go and execute the code here. The uniform random variable is thus generated using the usual call to np.random.uniform. Furthermore, the return statement ensures that the quantity on the left-hand side of the equal sign in the lower code is set equal to the output from np.random.uniform. The code we have that written using the function call in this way is thus entirely equivalent to the code that we have worked on in earlier parts of this exercise on summary statistics. Now let's suppose that we want to generate Bernoulli random variables rather than uniform random variables. Most of the code for calculating the sample mean that we have here will stay the same. The only thing that we will need to change is the part that generates the random variables, i.e. the function that we are calling. We will thus change the name of the function that we are going to call from uniform to Bernoulli for reasons of cl clarity. The internals of this function are then changed to code that should be familiar from other exercises in which we have generated Bernoulli random variables. In fact, the function that you can write here is simpler than the previous codes that we have written for generating Bernoulli random variables, as we no longer need to use an if-else statement. We can instead use a single if statement because if the condition is satisfied and we return zero, we do not execute the last line of the function that returns one. Hopefully this is straightforward enough and you can use what has been covered in this video to complete the final exercise, which is on using Blockly to write a function that generates Bernoulli random variables. You then use this function and repeat what you did to calculate the sample mean from a uniform distribution, but now you do this for a Bernoulli random variable instead. 
Remember that when you complete this task, you should review your notes um, to check that you understand all the ideas that have been introduced in this exercise. You may also like to start work on some of the programming aspects of the random variables exercise that you have to complete by the start of week four. You will find that this exercise that you've just completed should have taught you most of the parts on generating a sample of random variables and on calculating summary statistics. To be clear, you can start these projects even if your project is on the Poisson, exponential or normal distribution that I haven't shown you how to generate here yet. Just write and call a function that generates uniform random variables for now and replace it with a function that generates the appropriate kind of random variable once you have completed the third and final block the exercise. Good luck.